So good morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are in sunny Cornwall. It's going to be sunny. It's going to break through. Beautiful day. But today we're going to try and talk to you about IPSCA, which is information, position, speed, gear and accelerate that we use for every hazard within roadcraft and advanced riding. I am. And I am. Rosper. Rosper. Other organisations are available. Yeah, but we are with Rosper, as you know. Oh, Rosper Cornwall. If you want to ride with Rosper Cornwall, get in touch. We've got a website, <laughs> like many other people. <laughs> but we're going to try and talk to you because we had, um, we, I did a ride with commentary um, a few weeks ago and it had really good, good um, comments on the on the video but somebody suggested that we did something to break down the IPSCA so what we do in Rosper and the IAM but in advanced riding is we use a system of bike control to deal with any hazards anywhere on the road be it a junction a roundabout a car pulling out um, a zebra crossing you name it anything at speed or at low speed it doesn't really matter because the principles are the same and we go by that mnemonic that I've just said IPSCA so what we're going to look at is here, we've got a lovely little junction that's in the middle of nowhere, it's really quiet. And it's very sunny. And it's, well, it's, yeah, it's going to be very sunny, I'm hoping. Um, so what we were going to do is talk about the fact that this is a lovely junction that you can't see around to the right or the left if you're heading towards your junction. So we would deal with this junction by way of a hazard which involves getting your information, changing your position with all your mirror checks and stuff, changing your speed, getting yourself into the right gear, because we always plan, uh, and the accelerate, or de-accelerate, because we always plan to go at a junction, but we're planning also that we're able to stop. Does that sound right? Just to me. Yeah. So we're all... I always... understand what language you're speaking. <laughs> yeah, so if we're coming to a junction, it's a stop, we would be planning to stop because a just stop junction means you have to stop. Um, if it's a, just a normal give way junction, we would always be planning to go through the junction and make our progress, but we would be aware that we're, equally we need to plan at some point that we might need to stop. So we've got a long road all the way, heading all the way up to this junction. So what I'm going to do first is with Mark stood there, I'm gonna go back to his bike and pretend I'm riding and then Mark will do a, um, a demonstration ride. Stay there, Mr. Mark. I'm staying here. Stay there. I might get run over. <laughs> well, by, the, by the loads of rush hour traffic that we've got. You know, the, last, the last time we did this was outside the school and we got some really weird comments. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did. Mark's just said the last time we did this, we were outside of school and got some really, really weird comments. But hopefully there's no one around to see us having weird comments. So, a normal road, we split up into three positions. One would be right over here, which is basically where the passenger side of the, the car is. Two is in the middle of the road and then three is on the crest of the road. So this is a, a single track road, but it's capable of having two cars down here just. So we would split the road up into three. So I'm coming up to this junction and using the IPSCA, the first bit is I, information. So what information have I got? I'm in position three, riding down the middle of the road for this road, but I'll be on the crest of the left-hand lane, which we're riding in the UK. And I can see a massive hedge behind where Mark stood at the edge of the T-junction, so nothing's gonna come there. I've got no possible view at all apart from that hedge. On my left, your right, you have got that bank where the bank is all grassy, so I can see if anybody's gonna come from the left. On the right-hand side for me, left-hand side for you, there's a sign there, I don't know what the sign says, um, and there's a grassy verge there, so I can kind of see if anything comes into the junction from the right-hand side. So keeping my safety bubble, because it's great in position three, but it also causes a couple of issues when we get into a left-hand junction. So I'm using my information, and I'm just, now I'm going to use my head 
to check my mirrors and I always do like a shoulder check here because we get stereotypically pizza boy flying up in behind us in a little moped or bicycles and stuff and what happens if I go into here and they come into me we have an accident so we don't want to do that so a quick check over my shoulder to make sure nobody's coming check in the mirror and now I'm onto the P I'm changing my position into position one now some people would say well why are you doing that and we do that for two reasons one to stop somebody coming up on the inside of the um, road to us so that when we make our left turn um, we're unimpeded um, but the other reason is part of road craft and advanced riding and riding in general is tug take use and give so I'm giving information to people behind that they can reasonably expect until I put my indicator on that I'm going to go left and I'm using people's information that when they come around the corner and you'll be doing it naturally you'll see it on roundabouts and stuff where they position themselves they're using and they're giving information even though they don't know it because they're pointing their car or their vehicle in one way so we're now into the position I've done my shoulder check my mirror checks and I've come over so now what I'm going to be doing is just indicating because I want to go left now and I'm now going to reduce my speed so that I'm a little bit more comfortable and I can do that by just throttling off using braking, you know, engine braking. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use brakes unless I was coming in quite quickly to the junction uh, because brakes are for going and uh, brakes are for braking are slowing and gears are for going apparently um, and sometimes people get those a little bit mixed up and it kind of throws everything about so I'm now selecting my gear which probably for here would be second or first gear um, and I've got the right speed um, and the right gear and I'm just keeping the throttle on I've got my indicator on and now with my head I'm looking down to the junction because now the view that I have down that junction is so much more. One, I can see that there's now three signs that I couldn't see a minute ago. There's another sign back there, but there's another couple of signs there leading to some sort of manor house or something. So I can reasonably expect somebody's going to come from that way. But the other thing that I can see is, and I'll get Mark to perhaps pop over here, is if you can point your camera back that way, now, by being in this position, I've got a view right down and I can see that the road comes down there. So all the time that I've been stood here, there has been no one on that road. Now, I don't know whether there's a junction off this road somewhere that could lead to here, but I can reasonably expect that the view that I've got is giving me a real clear indication that there's probably no one going to come up the road and stop me and have, that I have to give way. So... If Mark can go back over to there. Oh, it's work, work, work. <laughs> what I need to do is concentrate on the left-hand side where I'm going to go, because where you sit, where you look is where you go. That's where you send your bike. So it, I've done my Ipska and I'm coming up, but now you could argue that you could do Ipska again now. I'm in the position, right, the information I'm getting is changing. The hedges are opening up a little bit so I can see through. I can see more of the road as I get closer to the junction. So I'm always ready to stop, but I'm preparing to go. That's the phrase I couldn't find earlier. <laughs> and now everything's fine. The information I've got now is that this road is completely empty. There's no one there. I'm in the right gear. I've got my indicator going. I've done all my Ipska. So my Ipska here is clear road. I don't need to stop. There's nothing coming from that way. There's nothing coming from down the road, so I don't need to stop. I've got my indicator on, I'm in the right gear, so now I would use that acceleration sense after doing Ipska again to pull away from the junction, and off I go. Right, so Mr. Mark now is gonna come down this road, as you can see his lights in the very, very distance, and he's not gonna pay any attention to Ipska. So we wanna try and highlight the differences of how Ipska can help you and how advanced riding is okay. So he's gonna to turn to his left, to our right, I'm giving him the thumbs up so he can, so I can see around the corner for him. So there was no change in position, there was no change in speed, there was no change in gear. So you could argue that he might well have been in the wrong gear at some point during that that junction, um, and he perhaps wasn't prepared as you could be if you were driving to the motorcycle system control of Ipska.
Um, so now I'm going to wait for him to get down the other end and we'll do an Ipska and I'll pick out the points of Ipska coming up to the junction. Right, so Mr. Mark is down there with those lights on. I'll try and zoom the camera in when when we edit it, but now he's coming in position three. So he, one, he's got a safety bubble around him, and two, he can see further around whichever corner he's gonna go. So he's gonna go the same way, but now he's got his information, he's changed his position, and he's indicating, check for pizza boy. No stereotypical thing there. He's checking around him, he's slowed down, he's got his speed in the right gear, and now he's away. The difference might be quite subtle, uh, to the untrained eye, and I'm not knocking anybody, you know, we're, we all, we're all learning, you know, we make mistakes as much as anybody else. But the difference between the first one and the second one was Mark had planned that this junction was where he was going to do something and where he was going to go. The first rider had planned it, but hadn't structured that plan in any way, so he was in position one all the way down the road, came to the junction, there was no change in gear or speed other than just slowing down for the junction and then he fired out through the junction. Obviously I gave Mark the thumbs up to say that it was clear so it wasn't, it wasn't dangerous. But what Mark did on that occasion coming through was that he applied the information, position, speed, gear, acceleration or deceleration when he was coming with all the checks over his shoulder to make sure he knew what was happening and it made for a safer corner and that's what we do on a junction around Ipska. Hope that makes sense. If you like the video give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.